All right, we talked a little bit about um, gospel job, and um, I want you to be very careful because if you've noticed in my volumes, I've been very specific about not moving the jaw. Now, did you ever ask yourself, why doesn't Ken want me to move my jaw? And of course we move our jaw whenever we have to sing different phrases and stuff. But I want you to have the feeling and the understanding of being in a static position where that jaw is not getting in the way and you're eliminating those moving targets that keep you from the things you want. High range or uh, the hitting the money note or vibrato or whatever it is that we're looking to do. Now with that said, um, I say that because I want you to get an understanding of how I want you to do vibrato and we're going to come back to the ooh in a minute. But um, I wanted to give you kind of a feel for this and let's talk about how we can place, uh, starting with the ooh vowel first, but I want to get into the ah vowel because all vowel sounds stem from the ah, it's the la, ah, with two exceptions as you know uh, in um, volumes, which is e and ooh, okay? So we can't rely on only having ooh or working the ooh vowel, training vibrato in the ooh vowel, and having that be the main staples of our vibrato. We really need to train the ah vowel because all vowel sounds, so the more, the more, more often than not, you're gonna be singing something related to the ah vowel or the ah vowel, but specifically the ah vowel. Now, I wanna start with ooh because I want you guys to get the feeling of this of a closed sound because remember, it's about relaxation response. So we have to relax to the sound. So again, um, uh, uh, altos and, and uh, even high tenors uh, if you want, you can start up a minor third, um, and sopranos and tessitures, if you're up there, you are in, in the raptors, you go at least an octave or up to an octave of this. So, but if we go, ooh, right? Now, I'm singing pure ooh. Ooh, do you hear how ooh that sound is? Okay, now, so I broke into vibrato. But I can, I don't know how to do vibrato. So show me how you're doing this. I will. First, we take the ooh, we'll move it up a little higher, go up to the next one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right? We start on the whole tone. We try to relax the chord using support. Support is king, okay? And we, I believe, we don't go up, oscillate above the note, we oscillate below the note. So, ooh, right? Okay, so now I didn't go ooh, or ooh, right? I relaxed to the sound. So as we go up the scale, that's precisely what I want you to do. I want you to start with a whole tone, and it's going to take a while. Please be patient with yourself. This is like a fine wine. It's not something where overnight we get vibrato, because it does become contrived, and we end up with some of these other things. You know, Caprino, we end up with a, you know, a, a tremolo, we end up with a, with a wobble, we end up with um, you know, a, a, a abdominal and or um, diaphragmatic vibrato. We don't want those things, so we really want this to be natural feeling, and it's gonna, it may seem awkward, it may seem contrived at first. It will seem contrived at first, in fact. But once you start to relax from a well-placed vowel sound, you're gonna realize that as you start to relax, your fingerprint, or your own personal vibrato, that is your own relaxation response to holding a whole tone, whole tone um, is gonna start to work for you. You're gonna start to feel it, okay? Let's go up the scale a little bit more. We're gonna do a couple more. So let's we'll slow this down again. We're going to break it down. Right? Okay, now we start. Again, there's vibratory cycles of vibrato. Some are faster than others. They're not all the same. So remember that. Some are faster than others. They're not all the same. So anyway, uh, and when we go into that sound, oh, right? What we do is we start with a slow, nice, even sound, okay? And as we relax into the sound, we gradually allow the sound to speed up. And as the sound speeds up, we're going to find the pocket of where our 
vibratory cycle or our oscillation should sit within the relaxation of our own chords. This is really, really important because we don't want it too fast, we don't want it too slow, we don't need it to sound like this person over there. You can do that for effect. I do it for effect all the time. You know, when there's a lightning, yeah! You know, I'll, I'll sing like someone else and use a wider vibrato, but that's not my vibrato, but I'll emulate that vibrato if I'm doing a vocal demonstration or something, and all of a sudden you'll get more width out of the sound or whatever. So anyway, let's continue on. So we start out slow, really slow, and we build up speed. Now we don't go, oh, 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 like a 57 Chevy, yeah, 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 you know, starting in the morning. We actually want 57 Chevy, yeah, as I said. What we want is, we want about a quarter to a half tone, meaning underneath the nose, so a quarter to a half tone. So now the ear, people's ear will hear the mean average or the average of that note starting from the whole tone. Otherwise, it would sound flat to their ear, right? Now, here's a, a, a part of the explanation for this. The vibrato itself is not consistent volume-wise. Now, I've always said in all of my volumes, you know, make sure that the velocity or the volume is always the same. That's true, except for with vibrato. With vibrato, the volume isn't the same. In fact, the relaxation response or dropping below to get to the, your, your vibrato, you know, tremolo, or not tremolo literally, but your, your, your oscillation, is actually a little less in volume. Let me say that again. The vibrato itself is a little less in vibrato. Otherwise, it would be, yeah! Right? It'd be, it's, everything will be really pronounced, and again, that's not a relaxation response. Instead, it's, yeah! ducking out of the sound every time it hits the vibrato just a little bit so that the, vib the whole tone is carrying the sound and the vibrato is just a little less in volume. Kind of like when a drummer goes on a hi-hat, right? He's going He's not going on the hi-hat, right? He's going So it is with vibrato. So let's go on. Now we've done the ooh vowel. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna get into this again in a minute because we're gonna need to do more than one vowel sound. But I wanna now start and focus on the ah vowel. It's the la, ah. Because we're gonna use ah a lot more than we're gonna use ooh, okay? Now we can start with ooh because it's a, an easier, more closed position. If you've been doing my volumes, I actually would encourage you to start on the ah, because the ah you're more familiar with and you understand the mechanism of the ah, and let's do this now. <laughs> 